All right, so at this point, um, I kind of leave these spheres behind a little bit. You know, they were great for making kind of a the half-breed balloon animal that I have before you. But other than that, you know, I want to kind of go into sculpting a little bit. At this point, you know, the only thing I would say to you is, you know, make sure that you space these out ahead of time based upon the new move feature that we have. And then again, I'm going to show you different ways to do that using the transpose tool. So don't worry about, let's say, this should be a little bit longer or this should be a little bit longer. It's all adjustable in the wash. All you're worried about is these things spaced out evenly. Another thing you have to worry about is, is this too high? Okay, now keep in mind, if you can get this even lower, it becomes even easier to work with. So if I go to the density of one, this is what it looks like. Now look at the hands, they're still kind of dense. So down below here, I have proximity, radial density. If I ring down my radial density to six, you'll see that it does this. Okay, so that's unacceptable. I can't use that. Uh, let's give it to seven. Seven's ugly. Eight's magical. So now another thing you could do is use proximity along with six. So let's see if I can get something that looks a little bit better. Ew. We'll go four. And what I want to do is just try this out. And you can try it out. You know, it's it's no big deal. You make it a poly mesh, you jump into it, you say, okay, well, here's my poly mesh. What happens when I divide this? Divide, divide, divide. Okay. Well, I get the extraordinary vertice right here. Okay, so good. Let's go back in here and say, um, go back to adaptive skin. Rank this back up to eight. Make it adaptive skin. And then go divide, divide, divide. Okay, so no extraordinary vertice in this area, therefore I'm not gonna get any problems with the sculpt. The hands are really high. So you know those are things that we're gonna have to decide on. Do I want to keep the hands really high and worry about the chest region or what so I'm gonna have to just live with it, what I have is basically what I'm saying to you and I'm going to just go ahead and make it a valley mesh with two okay and then I'm gonna save this out so I'll save it right here and in the next video we're gonna learn to kind of move and manipulate this stuff after the fact.